Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we will learn how to create scoping rules in Salesforce. Before starting this video, here is an announcement for you. We would like to inform you that we have recently launched a course specially for Salesforce administrator and even if you are beginner then you will easily understand the topic and content of the course. Here you can see our course curriculum. We have created different different modules. You can get this course by clicking on enroll in course. You will have a lifetime access for this course and also you can subscribe this course through the link in description box. Let's jump to the our topic. So what is the scoping rule? Scoping rule let us control the records that our users see on criteria that we select. We can set up scoping rule for a different users in your salesforce org so that user can focus on the records that matter to them. In salesforce creating a scoping rule allow us to control the record that user see based on the criteria that we have defined in the scoping rule. Then we can create scoping rule only in salesforce lightning not in salesforce classic and it available for all custom objects and in standard object it available for only few objects account case contact event lead opportunity and task then here is a important thing after applying the scoping rule the user can still access the record that are allowed by sharing settings the scoping rule will not show you thing that you are supposed to see but will not exceed but it will not restrict you from accessing the record that you do not have scope to as we know we can create scoping rule only in the salesforce lightning we will create the scoping rule on the standard account object to navigate the standard object click on the gear icon then click on the setup then click on the object manager here you need to search for the account object you can see i have two account object one of the one is custom object another is a standard object we have to click on the standard object then scroll down and you will see the scoping rule option click on scoping rule here you can see in the image we use scoping rule after organization while default sharing settings and sharing mechanism we use the scoping rules and after that and here you can see use scoping rules to the control the record that your user see based on the criteria that you select user can still access the record allowed by your sharing settings to create the new scoping rule click on the create new rule but we need to enter the required details let's enter scoping rule on account object and click here the full name the full name will automatically populated because the full name is nothing but the api name then click on is the active button because if we not click on this active button the scope will not apply on this object then we need to select the user criteria in the user criteria we can apply this scoping rule on particular user or the group of the user also then we will select alias as user now if you want to select the user by the alias for that click on the alias select on choose button then equal then string to get the user alias we need to go on the user to navigate the user in the quick find box search for the user then click on users here you can see action full name alias we will select the anderson alex alias copy this after that again go to the scoping rule and paste that alias over the value field here we have defined the user criteria now coming to the record criteria for that click on the field now we have to select based on which field we want to filter the records here i am filtering the account field by the account type click on the choose button then equals the account type data type is a pick list field then click on the select one value button and here we will select the customer direct then click on save this is how we can create scoping rule in the salesforce lightning now we will apply this scoping rule on the account list view for that for that click on the app launcher button and search for the sales because in the sales app we will find the account object then click on the account and click on the all contact we have selected the user alias as alex that means again go to the home tab in the quick find box search for the user and here we are going to log in with the anderson alex click on the login button then go to the accounts click on the all account list view and here you can see all type of customer is appearing the filter by scope 
on the account list view to apply that again go to the administrator account here now we on the administrator account now we want to apply the scope by filter all accounts list view for that click on this filter option then click on this button and you can see we have three option filter by accounts my accounts and filter by scope click on the filter by scope and click on the done and then save these changes you can see list view updated but you can see after the filter by scope applied all type of accounts it's coming up this is because in the user criteria we have applied the scoping rule on the anderson alex user for that again we need to log in with the anderson alex here you can see we have logged in with the anderson alex then click on account and then all account list view he can only see the records which account type is customer direct now we will discuss about the uses of scoping rule the main use of we can set up the scoping rules for a different user in our organization so that user can focus on the records this is what scoping rule is and uh, this is how we can apply scoping rule on the list view in the salesforce lightning if you like the video then click on the like button and also do subscribe our channel and also hit the bell icon to get the regular updates Thank you.